hi, my name is Jamie Ruscioli and uh, I'm a screenwriter. Oh God, um, I should have seen the questions. I don't know if anything ever really made me want to be a screenwriter more than the fact that I felt like I, I had to do it. And that sounds really kind of goofy, but I've always had a sort of an inner dialogue going on. I've always uh, had scenarios of revenge fantasies of like bullies. It probably started as a kid and I, I love storytelling. I've always been somebody who liked uh, the attention of storytelling and um, any idea that I could create it myself was just sort of how it worked. I, I mean, when I was young, I wanted to be an actor. And then I started writing my own stuff so that I could at least act a little bit more. I ended up finding notebooks, um, like when I was like 25. And they were just filled with like ideas for like movies and TV shows and like screenplays and how I could fix like The Godfather or something. Like it was just always sort of stupid. I, I, I never wanted it. Like it wasn't like a, an option. I think it's just it'll keep me out of prison if I uh, if I write about things that I want to happen rather than do them. There's a there's a, a script that I wrote years ago um, that everybody hated, and it was about and it was funny. I pitched it to uh, somebody once um, at a network in Canada that shall remain nameless. They said, "Yeah, everybody who works in a bar thinks they have a script for a bar." Like, who, who gives a shit if you think everybody's got a story? Uh, when I moved to Toronto and I worked at a nightclub in Toronto, and it was just this, you know, 25 years old and not doing anything with your life, but still having the time of your life because you worked in a nightclub and you made too much money and you lived at, you know, in the middle of the night and you drank too much and all these things. And I always wanted to tell that story. I still want to tell that story today because it was, it's, you know, it's, a bit of a universal story of that age where we were all supposed to have figured it out by then. Everybody that I worked with in the restaurant and bar industry, people who weren't going to university or, or were being told what to do, none of them had figured it out. And we were all okay with it. And I think that it's okay to not have figured out your fucking life at 25. The TV show on Disney Plus called The Bear, or it's on FX in the States, it gives me so much hope because that is that show is exactly what it's like to work in a restaurant so much so that it gave me PTSD and that makes me think you know what one day I'll be able to tell the story I hope I do I, I there's a there's it's been a, a bunch of different versions of it it's a, a lot of times it's about clearing um the realities out of your head like I used to go for bike rides in the summertime and stuff like that try and forget about all the bills I owe or or problems that I have so I could just get down to telling the story um I like to nap uh <laughs> when I'm stuck on something um my wife doesn't think it's real but I do I believe it's a real process that I do I also think that there's you know for me because I talk a lot I like to discuss a lot of the idea beforehand, so I'll discuss it with like my wife or even my friends. And it's almost like the last thing I do is get down to write. The physical part of writing doesn't bother me. Um, sometimes I feel like I have my, there's too many stories kick around my brain. I, I quite often explain that my brain is like a, like a bunch of beach balls and all just sort of tumbling around. And, and they all have little ideas in them. And sometimes I go, oh, that's a good idea, but I'm not ready for that. And so I just let it tumble through my head and then I see something happen the other day, whatever it is, and then I go, oh, yeah, I should go back to that, whatever. I think, you know, I, I it's kind of a shitty answer, but the hardest part is time when you're not functioning as a working writer, because all I really want is the time and space to be able to do the thing that I love. But there's a whole bunch of things that have to happen in life in order for that to happen. So, you know, you have to worry about making money, you have to get side jobs, I have kids, you know what I mean? Like all these things. So I, I find the hardest part is just time, managing time. Because there are days when I want to write and I don't, and it sucks because I'm just like, ah, I think I blew it. I think I missed my window. <laughs> you know, like I gotta go pick up my kid in two hours. And, you know, and, and so then I'm like, ah. So, you know, we all want that dream where we can just, you know, go into our office and lock the door and write a script. And then, you know, your agent goes, here's a giant check. And then you go, yay, and you make more. The show Californication is almost too easy to say because I think that I'm just like the poor unemployed version of that guy. 
he's sarcastic and he's you know sharp wit and he says a lot of things that get him in trouble so i, I do like that show i'm sad it went up here I, I mean i would probably love to write for the bear just because of the restaurant element of it i'm not sure of a chicago guy uh it's always sunny in philadelphia only because i think that they just i think they're just geniuses in talking about things that you're not supposed to talk about uh, i don't think anybody i don't think anybody does it any better than them I don't, I don't know. I think, yeah, maybe. The biggest goal of, uh, uh, of for me as a writer is to tell, there's probably like five stories in my life that I think, I, that I think that I would want to at least um, to tell or to deal with. And um, that's definitely one of them. That one's about me. Um, there's one that I, a script I already wrote that's, you know, that's with uh, Colbinder right now that has an option on it about my son being autistic. I love that story. I want to tell that one. What else? That's it. Maybe they're just those two. I, I'm a real troublemaker when it comes to this question because what people say, what's your favorite movie? I say in which genre because I don't know how to answer that question correctly. Because like, I don't know how to compare Dumb and Dumber and The Clockwork Orange, but they're definitely both on the list. So I don't know, like, I don't I don't know how that, that works out. Television shows, I loved the show Dark. I, I absolutely just loved it. I, I watched that series three times. I do love the fact that because it was in German, you, you had to put your phone down. That guy scares me. The creator, I, I, don't, I would not want to have a conversation with him. He, he frightens me. And there's never been a show that I was more excited that season one was over and season two wasn't for a year. I was like, thank God, because I, I, I don't know what happened.